Greetings, Zach Dalton here with another how-to video from Rio Products. Today we're going to talk about how to fish from a skiff, a flat skiff. We're here on a beautiful flat, we've got some cloudy skies, so we thought we'd talk about some basics on how to effectively fish from one of these things. First, and most importantly, is how to orient yourself in a skiff and understanding the face of a clock and how it pertains to your angling experience. To the stern, we've got six o'clock. To the bow, we've got 12 o'clock. To our left middle, we've got nine o'clock. And to our right middle, we've got three o'clock. You and your guide will work as a team. He'll identify where the fish is, tell you based off the face of the clock where that fish is, so you can quickly identify your target. 40 feet, nine yeah. o'clock. This angle? Yeah. One of the next most important things to me is making sure that the boat is free and clear of snags. I've got a little tag here from the hatch. I've got the holder for the pole here. If you strip line out and you're not paying attention to those things, your line's going to get wrapped around and you're going to be very frustrated when you try and make a cast. It's not going to come together. You're going to come up short. So it's very important to make sure that you've got these pushed down and out of the way. Equally as important is to make sure that the cockpit is free and clear. You don't have any water bottle or branches because again, your fly line could get snagged on it and could blow one of the few shots that you might get in a day. Now that we've got some of the basics covered, let's talk about some of the features of the front of the skiff and how we can effectively use them to improve our fishing experience. We've got a lean bar right here. I like to utilize this in a couple of different ways. If we've got very windy con conditions, I'm gonna brace myself up against this so I can not have to pay attention to my balance. I can utilize that as a brace and still effectively fish. If we've got nice flat calm conditions like we've got today, I'm gonna stack my fly line directly on top of the deck here, making sure that I've got running line first followed by the body. And I do that to make sure that it comes off cleanly when I'm making a false cast. If the running line is on top of it, it can cause a snag very often. In the most windy conditions, I'm gonna utilize my fishing buddy here and strip my line directly into the cockpit. And that's not the only thing you do. As Zach says, one of the job, jobs you have when you're sitting in the seat is manage line. You're taking care of it, especially on a windy day when his line's gonna blow over the deck. I'm gonna make sure I'm pulling the line into the deck here. I'm gonna be looking at the coils. He's looking and targeting fish, but I'm gonna be looking at coils. And sometimes you might find the lines are kind of look like it's a bit of a jumble. So your, your job is to make sure the line is always going to be ready for that shot. Because you're not going to get a lot of shots out on the flats. So making sure he's got the best chance is one of the things you should do. Also, utilize this. You've got a, the anglers looking for fish. You've got the guides looking for fish. You should also do the same. You shouldn't just be sitting there watching your iPhone or anything. Get up on the seat. Take a look around. You're also trying to find some fish there. Because, of course, the more eyes that are looking for fish, the better it is, the better chance there is. It is far more useful having somebody here watching rather than just doing nothing, snoozing away. In addition, another cool thing to do is so every now and then you might be out in a flat fishing for bonefish, like we are here. And you're sitting around and being pulled around and the guide spots a tarpon or a permit or some, a different species. And we've got a, a bonefish outfit set up here. As soon as the guide spots a different species, it's the job of the person here to grab the correct outfit. Tarpon outfit here, for example, because we've got a tarpon coming. I'll give that to the angler. I'll take his rod from him and worry about winding in the line here. And that way, he is ready way faster than if he's winding in, digging out the rod. So there's a lot of things you need to do as, as, a, as a cockpit here, the guy who's not fishing. Because believe me, when you're up there as the angler, you're going to want him doing the same things for you. So just make sure you understand your duties when you're in a flats boat on both the front and in the seat here. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you picked up a few tips on, on how to fish out of a flats boat like this. And if you enjoyed this, check out the Rio website and particularly our section called Rio TV. And you'll find a whole bunch of how-to episodes like this and top tips for all kinds of fishing. Many thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode.